All right. Well, good morning, everyone. It's actually a little late, uh, 9.13 a.m. That's because I was, you know, playing with my alt account for Hades Star, and I was also just checking the markets. Um, I'm actually still not sure what's going on. I think I have a pretty good idea, but obviously I need to see what Greg Manorino has to say. But um, it is actually looking pretty bad. I think, uh, I think the stock market is going to go a lot lower. Um, and we're only doing one video today, which is, uh, re I keep calling it Revention, but there's no I, it's Re Reventon. Uh, wow, what a difference one letter makes, and the word sounds completely different. So yeah, massive fear trade going on. The dollar is also really down a lot today, too. Uh, and interestingly enough, cryptocurrencies are actually possibly catching a bid. So I think money is actually leaving everywhere to go into debt markets and cryptocurrencies. So we actually catch a break for once, um, you know, because, you know, crypto has been under a lot of pressure for like a very long time. Not just this year, but like the, I, I feel like for the past few years, you know, so. Yeah, but yeah, there's definitely something going on. People are finally maybe figuring out that maybe crypto is the way. So let, let's hope so. Especially now that the Terra Luna stuff, I think, is finally played out. So hopefully uh, the market will stop dumping. So the first thing I want to do is close my camera for a sec and click this button, which takes me to a new page. Okay, so you can buy this thing. Uh, wrong camera, because that's the big one. I'll pop myself back up here. So I just simply looked at their Twitter, but they do have a Telegram, a Discord, a Linktree, and a Medium. But they do look quite legitimate. They do look quite legitimate. And then you can see their full face team uh, over here. They've got LinkedIn's. I didn't actually notice they had a LinkedIn. Uh, so they look like they're somewhere in the Middle East or something. Chief Creative Director. Parsons School of Design. Yeah. But these guys do look smart, so that's the important thing. They need to look smart, right? Because obviously this, because I, I took a quick look. This actually looks really good. Um, yeah, I want to turn off the audio. Because believe it or not, one time I played the trailer for GTA like 5 or something, and then I got a copyright claim. It's like, what the hell? So actually, maybe I don't want to actually play this thing, actually. So anyway, this is like a driving game. However, based on one of the clips they had on Twitter, which means I gotta go back to their Twitter. Uh, let me see. Where did I, yeah, this one. This actually looks a lot more, a lot more like Cross. I don't think there's audio here. This looks a lot more like this game, that Steam game I've been talking about a couple weeks ago called Cross Out. Oh look, they even have like zombies or something. So this definitely looks really cool. Like you can have, it's basically gonna start off apparently as a racing game. But then they're going to branch out to, like, actual, like, I guess, instanced or, you know, uh, let me see, make sure you guys can see this. Instanced, uh, you know, PvP battles or, like, open world, you know, exploration. So it's actually a really cool concept, and this is the game I'm talking about. I actually uninstalled it because I just couldn't wait, because they have a, this game has a problem with matchmaking, so it takes forever to get, um, takes forever to get, you know... Uh, matches but basically you just build your own car through different parts and then the progression is you have to get these parts and you want the better parts which is like you know like world of warcraft like rare ultra rare special epic and then legendary right and it just costs you know, like in-game currency you know which you can buy or you can just play but you can only earn the in-game at least in the case of cross out you can earn it you know uh every week basically there's a limit <clears throat> All right, and then you just build all sorts of like crazy. You can have cars. You can be an artillery guy. You can be a fast dune buggy. There was one that had spider legs. So let me see if I can find it. Oh, I, I must have clicked it. But yeah, you have you have bullets, and then you have energy weapons and cool shit like that. So so this game reminds me basically of that. So it's a proven concept. It's a it's a good game. I just wish the developers of Cross Out were like better. All right, but you know it's like whatever. You know, there's plenty of other games for me to play. But what's cool about this is if this is an NFT type of project, so you know if they if this is a legit project, right? And so far it looks pretty legit to me. Uh, play to earn open world racing simulator. Yeah, so that's how, so yeah, so it is an open world game eventually. Yeah, but 
it's very easy for them to go to go from racing simulator to like actual open world like MMO style type of game. So even if it's instance, that still counts, all right? Because you're competing against other players throughout the whole world, presumably. So all right, so uh, so this project you can just buy some tokens, but specifically founder NFTs, I think. So let me actually click this. I'll probably actually link to this thing too. Uh, okay, well, let's, I'll, I'll read this out. Reventon. I'm just going to call it Revention, even though that's not correct, because I'm just. I have to have that I in there. Founders NFT. Earn automatic staking rewards before Revention launch and passive royalties from every garage transaction after Revention la uh, launch. So the first round of NFTs is $175 per NFT, and this is how many is left. Can you guys see that? Yeah, 2,263 of this recording. So if I wanted to buy this, I have to spend 0.5811 BNB. All right, and then you, there, there apparently is also a re revention wallet as well. So this looks, this this thing looks so freaking legit. I don't. Even if you had to outsource this, this would be very expensive. Look, look at this. Look at that. That looks so, like, insane. That looks so insane. Oh, it tells you. There is a 12,000 NFT max. Uh, early adopters of this NFT will enjoy up to 90... So this is actually the page we want to be reading, because this tells you what you're actually buying. But let's... Well, let, well alright. There's actually a lot of info here, surprisingly, which is good uh okay okay so here are the things you can do in this game all right refill energy i assume gas and then you have to craft to level up parts just like in that game cross out right so it's exactly the same thing you have the workshop which is where you build and readjust yeah this thing is exactly like cross out except nft basically uh cash back tokens earn tokens by joining match-based pvp races completing milestones and missions that's probably pve as well as competing in tournaments. Lending and renting. Players who er prefer earning a passive income over playing the actual game can loan out their NFTs to other people. So you can actually buy this. So let's say you buy one of these NFTs and let's say you had like a really good tire, right? So the tire is like good, strong durability and it like makes you move faster or something. Or you can turn faster. That like, And then you can rent that tire out to people and then earn money. That's actually really cool. Craft upgrades for your NFT parts and trade them in an online marketplace, right? Acquire rare uh, aesthetic NFTs in game. <clears throat> oh, so they might have cosmetics for this game too. Yeah, that's perfect. You know how much money you make? That's like Fortnite. That's all Fortnite is. It's just cosmetics. And they like Epic Games makes like Fortnite makes like several billion dollars of the B, maybe tens of billions of dollars a year off of freaking just cosmetics. Yeah. Yeah, these guys know what they're effing doing, the, the, the devs. They definitely know what they're doing. Rank up, complete mission, earn in-game currency, parse and public. Yeah, so it's just like cross out, just play the game, and you just get stuff. Stake your tokens and NFT cards with their upgrades and earn tokens with APR based on collective power of the vehicle. Yeah, so it's kind of like just your standard, like, you know, like buying a pet or buying them on, or like, that's what I used to do. You know, you get your pet, and then you just stake it, and then you just get some kind of like, money. <clears throat> Okay, so the in-game currency are these things. Uh, you have arena points and world points. Okay, so you can earn the basic rev token. is utilized to buy the NFTs and wrap. It is also needed for fees in the garage, right? So this is your basic currency probably. Wrap is the main currency to be get uh, won in PvP battles and open world events. It is used to join tournaments and can also be turned in back into Rev. Then you have world, Rev, Revention World Points. It's the secondary currency which is acquired from achieving milestones and completing missions. It is used to upgrade parts in the crafting table. And then you also need them for joining world events. Yeah, this thing's going to take off. Again, if this is legit. So far, I, I think it is. Oh, man. Well, I mean, everyone likes using Binance Smart Chain, so I mean, I imagine the gas fees of this project won't be too crazy, right? At least I, I, I hope not. <laughs> That's, that, that could be, uh, yeah, that would actually hurt us quite a bit. 
Yeah, this actually has the potential to be a really large project. Holy shit. Like, their artwork is, like, insane. Like, they, these are, this is actually triple A quality. This is actually a triple A quality look. Uh, final uh, seed sale will be a one-time opportunity to buy the founder NFTs. Oh, so that's the LA Alpha version. All that can be well those to all Revention token pre-sales. So buying this NFT will also get you uh, whitelisted automatically to all future pre-sales. In addition to playing the Alpha version of this game. And if it's like any other project, like any other game, it looks like they're using the Unreal Engine. So automatic staking rewards before you launch. Early adopters will enjoy up to 95% APY. Uh, once the game is launched, then your NFT will automatically unstake. Okay. So you just gotta make sure, so you, so you buy this and you automatically start getting money, apparently. Passive royalties, right? Each trend, pattern game after launch, blah, blah, blah. Like, if they're actually gonna do this, this is actually a pretty good bargain for, one, for like, 175 bucks to get, like, an NFT. Tokens earned per NFT, total tokens earned, value of Revention token is $83.03. Hmm. Okay, that's not bad. Uh, the Revention NFT are only stated in the available and unlocked after the game goes live. In most cases, you will, you will receive your NFT you purchase within minutes. Do not purchase the NFT directly from an exchange wallet. If you do, the NFT will be minted to the payment address and you will not have access to it. Yeah, so you just just, just buy it through the website. That's that's all you need to know. Don't buy it anywhere else. Two main benefits, taking away for a game launch, passive income after game launch. Yeah. yeah, so even if you didn't care about this game, you could just buy the NFT and then just get free money. Like, literally just free money. Yeah. This would actually, you know, it would actually be a smart idea for me to actually buy a couple of these. Thing is, I just don't want to keep track of anything. But then again, what if you could buy something like this, and then it becomes like Krabata game, right? Because you know how much money a Krabata game makes. So, this could actually be like that too. In fact, it could be better. You know, it could be better. Um... Let's see, uh, they trust wallet. I assume you can use MetaMask with this because this thing just says just, you know, via trust wallet. Click here on information on how to buy. Uh, okay. Yeah, wallet connect, MetaMask. And then, and then the, uh, this thing here said trust wallet. So yeah, you just use any standard whatever wallet you have. Okay, and that's the end of this thing. So yeah, this thing looks insane. Jeez, look at that. I got how much how much effort do you think went into making this thing here? I don't I, I that looks like some kind of spike that you put on your car and then you ram people with it. That's what this looks like, right? You, like and they have that in Crossout, so it's not a, it's total yeah. Like, because basically the concept of, like, Mad Max, but, like, you get to play as Mad Max, like, you know, that old Mel Gibson movie, right? Or, I guess, the new one, which I don't consider to be anything because it's just SJW crap, right? Yeah. That's always been, like, a cult classic. So games based on that is always pretty cool because it's, like, post-apocalyptic, -apoc you know, settings. So... I mean, I'll probably still pass on this, right? Simply because I just don't want to keep up with it. But this is definitely, this is likely a very good buy. Like this is, like I'm actually stupid for not buying this, right? But I, I've actually been playing a lot with uh, Rocket. What was it called? Science Rocket Zone? Or oh, I did the video on it yesterday. But th that contract is actually growing a lot. <laughs> so I've been putting a lot of money into that. That's so. Uh, that's where my money's going right now. To, you know, it's been a while since I've actually had a good project, right? Because I screwed up on Phantom Crops Farmer. I, I accidentally waited 15 minutes before I, after lunch, and I was just too late. Like, I should be making triple or quadruple what I, I don't know. Just know that I messed up. So, I mean, I still got in, obviously, afterwards, but it's like I, I'm not getting nearly the income boost I could have had. <sighs> That's how it goes, right? So anyway, yeah, so this is actually, let's see, has anyone bought this yet? It's still at 2263, so you still have plenty of time to get, uh, grab this guy. <laughs> grab this guy, think of the uh, phrasing on that. All right, 
So, yeah, this game looks uh, pretty awesome. Yeah, this definitely looks pretty cool. So, again, if, assuming they're legit and looks like it is, and they actually have the team to do this kind of thing, like, you, like, you definitely have to spend a lot of money hiring the animators to do this. Because if you, if you were to outsource this, I mean, it's going to easily cost you tens of thousands of dollars. And you probably have to do, like, at least a few 10K, maybe several 10K. This is just very expensive to do. Like, I don't even think you can outsource this. I don't, I, I, I mean, I don't think they you can outsource this, to be honest. It's just the quality is just too good for that. Like, you have to have somebody, you have to actually pay a professional AAA, uh, you know, uh, what is it? <sighs> Graphics artist, right? You know, like, for example, let me, let me make sure, not, I mean, I'm pretty sure Epic Games is good with, like, Getting rid of like uh, naked women just in case, but let me just make sure there's nothing crazy here. Okay, yeah. Like, look at the quality of. I'm just have to find a good, good picture of this. All right, when I was making my game, look at the detail on that. All right, look at the detail on on Bellica here. Let's see. We need a high. This is not a high res version. So we can go on art station here. <clears throat> yeah, so this is the head, the senior technical artist at Epic Games. I don't know if he still works there. Because this is this was made in like 2016. Alright, so this is like crazy detail. Look at the art on this. Alright. Like it's, it, it's insane. And then there's the materials for uh the uh for her skin here. So, yeah, that's what I'm thinking when I see this, all right? So, they definitely have really good art, uh, graphics artists. Because, obviously, this game, I mean, yeah, you need to code it so that, you know, the game works. But, obviously, it's all going to be about the graphics. So, yeah. All right. So, anyway, I'm, we're only doing one video today because there's not a lot of, there's, there's nothing else on my YouTube sources. And I don't want to cover random projects, especially right now because things are just bad anyway. You know, I check the views on my recent videos. It's like, yeah, it's it's down overall because crypto is down, and there's just too much there's just too much panic in the markets. So I'm sure Greg's videos must be out by now. So yeah, it's already 9:31 a.m. Are we below? No, we're not. Okay, so we're going back. Wait, yeah, we're going back up. Okay, yeah, because we have to watch for 38, 37, 50. All right, so I actually have to get to work because I actually because I actually want to buy uh, spider indexes today, especially because I'm seeing this. Like something is off. Stocks are down, the dollar is down, but people are buying bonds, and yet cryptocurrencies are starting to go up. Like this, there's something off with this. So I have to find out what it is. So anyway, um, what thumbnail do we want? Yeah, I think we'll use use this as a thumbnail. This is pretty cool. Look at this just look at this this is insane <laughs> this is insane anyway like subscribe share this video around with all your friends and family and um thank you again to all the old and new people oh yeah i didn't even know yeah look there's a that's a minigun up there uh all the new people uh thanks for watching um and yeah i don't know if i'll do anything tomorrow because i'm not going to do pick random projects i'll, I'll just take time off because tomorrow is friday anyway it's it's insane. The week has gone by so quick. So anyway, uh, I'll be making money. Uh, right now, I'm really liking the Rocket Science Zone project. I think that's the name of it. The video I did on it yesterday. You should check that out. They're actually doing very little marketing, but the project does really well. So hmm, that's going to be kind of interesting. Uh, but aside from that, uh, I have nothing but good things to say about Revention. Definitely check it out. Um, again, if they're if they can pull off what they're doing. This could very well be the next Corbata game for sure. All right, especially from both a technical point of view and a video game point of view. All right, I, I know a lot about that stuff. All right, so yeah. Uh, of course, as always, don't put all your money in and just one project because you're gonna wind up like me in Metaverse Pro or all those poor idiots in Terra Luna. Right, you know, people lost four point five million dollars. The guy that was uh, trespassing in Doquan's house and stalked his wife. Right, that she had to call the cops. He lost 2.6 million supposedly, or 2.3 million. It's like, yeah, don't go too crazy with this stuff. But with that being said, this definitely looks like a very good play. 
right? So, anyway, check out Reventin, right? I, I'll, I'll keep calling it Revention, whatever. I'm going to go play my game. I'm going to find out and what's happening with the stock markets and whatever markets today and start making some plays because I need to make some money. So, yeah. Keep growing. Oh, by the way, you should really hit the uh, thumbs up button because I don't really see a lot of people doing that. And Oh, I forgot to mention this, but I'm starting to see a lot of idiot commenters, right? Which is then contradicted by commenters from the other YouTubes, right? Proving me right and the commenter wrong and people are downloading my videos anyway. It's like kind of starting to, you know, piss me off a little bit. So it's like, I, I don't know why we're, this channel is attracting these a-holes, right? Because, you know, because I'm not like that. So, I don't know. But I'm just going to start removing content. I haven't blocked anyone because it's actually a pain in the ass to block someone. But, you know, it's like, whatever. So, anyway. I'll see you tomorrow, possibly. If not, I'll probably see you next time. Probably next Monday. Because, again, things are just slow. But, you know, we want to try to cover, like, really good projects. Solid projects. So, yeah. Thanks.